Hi, I'm Ron Fournier and today we're going to show you how to gas weld aluminum. Alright, first we're going to talk about why we gas weld aluminum. A part like this is made out of several pieces. I'm going to turn it over and you can see here where it's joined here and here and up in this corner. These parts were made separately and then gas welded. And of course gas welding them keep, keeps this area nice and soft and uh, pliable. It's not weak, it's very strong, it just happens to be soft. And this allows you to work the area out smooth with files, dollies, and slappers. Not necessarily in that order, but you can really make a nice metal finishing job if the part stays nice and smooth. This applies for steel parts too. Okay, we're gonna do several projects today. And I'll explain to you what the projects are gonna be. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna weld these two pieces together. We're gonna to try to tack them and weld them. This is a normal butt weld. And I've got a couple of preformed parts here that we made as part of our projects in our workshop class. Uh, we're going to show how to cut the trim line in and then the other side and then put a witness line in and then gas weld them together. Next we're going to show you how to make practice welds for the joint in a corner of a, something like an oil tank or a fuel tank. The joint is really formed over a T-dolly, both sides, and then I put two flange flanges at the bottom and then I can clamp them together and put them on a table, tack wall them, and then finally make the final pass. Good way to uh, practice that kind of a joint. The last one we're going to show you is a joint that's a butt weld, but we've tipped up a lip on both pieces and we're going to go ahead and make some fusion tacks on it and then a fusion weld. This is great because we don't get a lot or get any really weld deposit in this area. We'll be able to smooth this completely out with no uh, not having to get rid of any filler material. So this is a good, uh, good kind of joint to know how to make. Okay, we're gonna talk a little bit about gas welding. And gas welding itself, I don't think is difficult, it's just different. There's three different things that you do when you gas weld aluminum. First is you have to use a flux, you have to use special lenses, and you have to have low line pressure. The flux we use is Aladdin flux. It's a very good flux, it's not real expensive, and it comes in a 4, an 8, and a 16 ounce size. I mix the flux in a plastic container. I can't have any metal in this container, it would contaminate the flux. I mix it with regular tap water to the consistency of pea soup, nice and thick, or it will run off the work. It helps sometimes to preheat the work and paint it on. Now you notice even my brush has no metal on it. I've taken the metal ring that holds the bristles on. I've gotten rid of that. I've gotten some sh a rubber shrink tube on there. It does a great job of holding the, uh, the bristles on and makes a metal free brush. Okay, next is the goggles. The goggles have special, we need special lenses. We're using TM2000 lenses. They're developed especially for gas welding aluminum. Your normal lenses are, will not be able to cut out the orange flash that the flux produces when you put the flame on it. You're going to need the special lenses. Your old lenses are not going to do the job. There's also, uh, there were also some lenses available called uh, cobalt lenses, and they've been outlawed because they don't cut out the harmful rays that, they, that the flame produces. Okay, the next thing that's different is the low line pressure. I use a Henrob torch for gas welding aluminum. It's a great torch for gas welding aluminum. It was designed especially to run at a low line pressure. The patented mixing chamber in the handle here will allow this torch to run at a very low line pressure. 4 psi oxygen and 4 psi acetylene. This is ideal for gas welding aluminum. It creates a very um, clean burning, cool flame. And you notice here, oh let me say one more thing, the, the, this torch comes with a cutting attachment and tips and a carrying case. It's, it's a very, really great tool to have at the shop. Now I've got here is a, a gas saver device. It's meant to save gas from stopping the flow uh, and putting the flame out 